Okay, Assalamualaikum and um, hello everyone. For this video, we are going to do the chapter summary for chapter 3. So that is dynamics of linear motion. And uh, basically, chapter 3 in chapter 3, we have four subtopics. We start with momentum and impulse, then conservation of linear momentum, basic of forces, and free body diagram and also Newton's law of motion. Okay, so we start with momentum and impulse. Okay, we have uh, the basic equation for momentum is mass times velocity, and for this subtopic also we have the impulse that is uh, force times time, and it can also be the change of momentum. Delta P or we can write down as MV minus U. Initial moment, final momentum minus initial momentum. Okay. Then for conservation of linear momentum, okay, uh, we have a condition where in a closed system, okay, in a closed system, the momentum is conserved. That means that the initial momentum, total initial momentum is equal to total final momentum. Okay, and for this uh, subtopic, we also learn about the types of collisions that are elastic and also inelastic collision. Okay, inelastic collision. So basically, for elastic collision, okay, and, and, and both elastic and inelastic, we have momentum conserved. Total momentum before is equal to before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. So the same condition goes to the inelastic collision. So total momentum uh, before collision is equal to total momentum uh, after collision. Okay, and um, the difference between elastic and inelastic collision is in terms of the uh, conservation of kinetic energy. For elastic collision, the conservation of kinetic energy is um, applied. That is, total kinetic energy before collision is equal to total kinetic energy after collision. But for inelastic collision, okay, it is not equal. So, total kinetic energy before collision is not equal to total kinetic energy after collision because uh, actually there is an energy lost after collision so we can also come out uh, the equation for kinetic energy as total energy before collision is equal to total energy after collision plus the energy that is lost from the collision so this is the difference between elastic and inelastic collision and for subtopic basic of forces, the most important thing that you have to know is the type, the five types of forces: tension, normal, um, weight, friction, and external force. So, from all these five uh, type of forces, we have the equation of weight. And also, we have the equation for mu for the frictional force. So, for the rest of the forces here, we don't have any specific equation. Okay, uh, for these five type of forces, uh, we need to know uh, how to draw the forces correctly. So, the direction of forces. <clears throat> so, basically, for tension, it is supposed to be always outward from the object and it is acted always acted on a string so let's say we have a uh, a case of a box being pulled to the right using a string so our force or our tension is to the right it is always outward from the object okay and for weight then the direction is always downward and it is started from the center even if your object is at inclined plane so your weight is always downward ok 
okay because it is actually the force of gravity that is pulling it uh, towards the center of the earth and for uh, normal okay for normal force it has to be uh, always perpendicular to the surface so that let's say this is the surface so your normal force is perpendicular to the surface okay acted from the surface and this is your normal force and for friction so let's say your object is moving to the right your friction is to the left because friction is always directed opposite to the direction of motion and for external force we don't have any uh, specific uh, rule for the direction it depends on cases given in your question Okay, and the last one for subtopic uh, 3.4, uh, we have Newton's law of motion. So, we have first Newton's law, second and third. Okay, first Newton's law is about uh, inertia or the equilibrium of an object. So, for any object that is in equilibrium, the total forces is equal to zero. The condition of in equilibrium is either your object is at rest or it is moving with constant velocity, acceleration is equal to zero. As our force is a vector quantity, means that you have the possibility to solve your force, total force in x and also in y axis. So that's for the first uh, Newton's law of motion. For the second Newton's law of motion, you have a summation of f equal to ma and again uh, your case can be uh, forces acted in x axis and also forces acted in y axis okay and last one we have a newton's third law if there is an action there will be a reaction so fba the magnitude is the same but it is acted in opposite direction so you have to put minus sign here Okay, thank you. That's all for the chapter summary of chapter 3. Thank you.